Hi, I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and we're here today to talk about a new exhibit that we have at the Chesapeake Heritage and Visitor Center at Kent Narrows, which is um, the County Visitor Center. It's a quilt exhibit and it's quilts from the Queen Anne's County Quilt Guild and here to talk a little bit about the exhibit and tell us also about the guild and some of the things that they are doing now and things in the future is Pat Wood. Hi Pat, welcome. Thank you. Um, the exhibit is it's beautiful. Um, I, I was stunned when you all brought it in. I was expecting a couple quilts and there's probably what 12 to 15 uh, maybe yes. more than that quilts and one quilted jacket hanging and they're just they're unbelievable the craftsmen and workmanship in them. So tell us a little bit about the Quilt Guild and what you all do. Well uh, our Quilt Guild started about 1988 Jeez. when a group of us got together and we've been going strong ever since. Okay. And our, uh, we are trying to let other people know about quilting, the world of quilting, and let people see all the beautiful things that our group it's does. It's amazing. And uh, we do meet now at uh, the, the Centerville Fire Call. Okay, okay. Uh, the last Wednesday of the month, 7 o'clock. And anybody can come anybody to Anybody can come, everybody, anybody's welcome. Okay. And let me say, we do have some men in the quilt world, too, today. I was, I, that was interesting to hear. You were telling me that. And that, I, I think that's wonderful. Hey, they're, they might have good eyes for, you know, doing the quilts. Yeah, mostly men do really exacting quilting. Really? Huh, yes. interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that, um, you, how many members do you have within your organization we about? We probably have about 40 to 50 members. Wow. Okay. And not all the, of them come all the time, but they're still all interested. Okay. Um, during our meetings, we have a variety of things that go on. We have speakers who come in. Okay. <clears throat> and we frequently have uh, classes where a speaker will teach a certain method, how okay. to do a quilt or do quilting things. We have demonstrations and uh, make and take. We bring <clears throat> little projects and everybody gets to make them and they take something home. Wonderful. And I did take a couple pictures of some of the quilts that we have on exhibit. And this, this picture here, you were telling me, this is your raffle quilt. Um, for next year. For next year. For year. next year. This quilt somebody made, but you all are, have the pattern now and you're making it to be raffled off for next year. And I have to tell you, it's gorgeous in real life, in real life, in person, whatever you want to call that. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful, but these I I just and the names like they said this was the Hawaiian quilt. This is Hawaiian. Yeah, uh -huh. I, I I'm not sure why, but um, and but, uh, this one's mine. Okay. Oh, I didn't know that. And it's my tribute to the Civil War. It's beautiful. And they have a list of the states that were in the Civil War written and printed on the fabric and that's in there too so it's fun to look at. Look oh I'm gonna have to go back and take a closer look to, yes. to at the, that. The back of it I think is fun because I found fabric that has Civil War songs out. Oh it. nice. Oh, oh right. see we, we need to get that where you can see both sides of it well, and then there's some other ones. Yes the first one here is trip closest to me is trip around the world. Okay. And, uh, that was a very popular one that is being taught around here. One lady teaches the method of how to do okay. it. Okay, okay. It's not just put little squares together. It's a, a certain way method. to put them together. And right. and yeah, you were explaining some of that to me earlier. That right. the way that they put them together, and then there were a few more. Right. Uh, this one here, the red and pink and white. It was a block of the month. Okay. Each month you went, you got a block, and you made the block, and then you came back, put it together. Put it all together. And this lady that did this one has lovely hand quilting on that. Really? That's all hand quilted. And then there's a and Then there's a, one another one that's just a patchwork, a sampler type right. thing. And this is a type of a star, and okay. this looks like a wall hanging. Yes. And wall hangings are very predominant in the quilt world today. Okay. A lot of people make wall hangings because they go quick in many cases. Right. And uh, they're nice in the house. And then this one is just absolutely gorgeous. Yes. This is a white on white, uh -huh. all hand done. And you can see by the ribbons on there yes. that she won several I, prizes. I want to say it was Queen Anne's County and Caroline County. I think there it was two different 
ribbons right, on there, right. but it's just absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and it shows the uh, the way you took the picture shows up the quilting really yeah, nice. Yeah, you can see it. And then above it, you I know you all had hung those squares. They yes, were the seasons. Uh, those are the seasonal squares, and I think most of those are mine. And I have a little thing to hang them on. Okay. And uh, each season, I'll change it. So there's a lot that that people can do. And and lastly, we have a this jacket, this quilted jacket. The jacket. Which I I would have never thought of a, having a jacket there, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh huh. And that's an artsy type jacket. Yes, it's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot there for everybody to see, and yes. th we're. The exhibit itself will be there until sometime in the middle of August, and we're open seven days a week, 10 to 4, so anybody can come down there. We have some information up here if they want to find out more about it, mm -hmm. um, about the exhibit or about when you meet. And I want to touch on one other thing that you all are working on, and I know you brought an article in today um, that was in the Star Democrat this weekend. You guys are doing the Quilts of Valor uh, mm -hmm. for the veterans. and. On your Facebook page, they they have a Facebook page. They have some of the pictures and everything, but this is really, anybody can come and work on this yes. stuff. We're going to have a day at Peggy's Sewing Center in Centerville. Okay. And uh, during that day, anybody can come in and sew a block, or if they'd like to come in and see what we're doing and like to just sign a block for us. Okay. Can. And what the blocks that we made will be put together into a quilt eventually it will be given to a veteran of one of our nice. wars. And how many quilts have you all given out so far? We've only given one uh -huh. so far, but I think we have seven or so made. That's that's what I thought I saw somewhere. That sounds about what I saw. And the people who are head of this organization, Quilts for Valor, uh, they are it located in Delaware. Okay. So our quilts might Go, some of them might go to Delaware because they give about all over the state. Right. The two states uh, and, a, and other states too. Right. I just, I, they're, they're gorgeous. And again, if you go to the, the Queen Anne's County Quilt Guild Facebook page, there's some pictures of the quilts on there also. And nice article in the Star Democrat. I'm sure people can pull that up online. And that's the beginning of August. You said when uh, you're going to be first doing first Saturday in August, August second. August 2nd. Okay, the first Saturday at Peggy's um, Sewing Center, right in Centerville. Right. Um, well, Pat, again, I I thank you for coming in, and I'm just tickled to death with how these quilts are. They're just gorgeous, and I would you know tell everybody please come and see them and drop in to see the. Um, the quilters in action. Yeah. Um, we also uh, have to give a plug to the Fiber Arts Center in Denton, who um, Amy J. Cox helped to pull this all together. Um, and again, stop in the last Wednesday of the month at Goodwill Volunteer Fire Department, seven o'clock. Is seven that right? Seven o'clock. So, and thank you again for coming in. You're welcome. I'm glad to be here. All righty.